So, I just pieced this together real quick. Didn't do a bunch of shit to it. I just wanted to push this out real quick. But, yeah. <laughs> this guy. Ah, something else. Let's just go. Hey, guys. I'd like to share with you. By the way, the person I'm going to be sharing with you, fake Facebook profile name. This is what she says. My mother or my brother don't care if you die tomorrow. Nobody would care and leave my mother out of your bullshit. I'm blocking you on all my mother's social media. Don't care where they t took you. They should take you to the fucking zoo because you're an animal. Facts. Wait. Animal. Stop tagging my mother in your bullshit. We don't care what happens to you. You are a complete lunatic. Facts Wait, again. season. You're my cousin, right? How is getting fired by People Inc. Drug addict? At least my. So Andy, I know you're not trying to flex on people. I fucking know you are not trying to fucking flex on people. You have no room to talk about anybody. You have nothing in this world. <laughs> Son that I don't have yet because I'm unable to care for myself. Why would Andy ever put ever a girlfriend that I don't even know how to get a hold of, first of all? Yeah, because it's a choice, bruh. <laughs> it's a choice. It's a choice to not have a girlfriend. It's Andy's choice. <laughs> it, it, even if I had a girlfriend come to me, Andy would never be able to accept her relationship, knowing that it's not fair for her to take care of me when I can't take care of myself. Your son killed. But you can take care of yourself. You just choose not to. Everything you do is a choice. You chose to wear a diaper because you're a fucking pathetic ass that just wants to sit behind a computer and never get the fuck up. And you found it easier to just shit yourself than to go to the bathroom. And for some reason in the last couple years you conjured up all these new things wrong with you whenever they're... <laughs> There really isn't. You're just fucking faking it so that you can have somebody just take care of you hand and foot because you're a pathetic fucking just mound of fat. A dog. Your brother got him out of it. What about the crazy lunatic that one? At least my bipolar diagnosis and schizophrenia diagnosis. Bruh. There are fucking so many videos of you saying, I don't have bipolar, I don't have schizophrenia, but now you're fucking acting like you have these diagnoses and shit? Oh my god. This fucking guy. Is it ever been confirmed like yours? Oh wait, you are also a black lady. Excuse my language for even doing this because I hate doing this. Because and he's, I'm a Republican for, you know, Abraham Lincoln. He freed the slaves. Republicans, if you would ever be a non-democratic person, Hillary supporter, Barack Obama supporter, you would be supporting Donald Trump because it's fake news. You're just trying to derail me. What the fuck are you talking about? Oh, <laughs> uh, I don't even... What, what the fuck? Because you're a black lady and I'm a Republican. What? Shut the fuck up. You ain't no Republican. If you were a Republican, you would fucking lift your ass up off your boot by your bootstraps and get the fucking work and stop crying like a fucking Democrat. What? <laughs> <laughs> because you're fake news Like the news media does it Donald Trump No you're fucking fake news You're always fucking fake news And you're a whiny ass fucking Perfect representative of a fucking democrat You want shit for free Are you fucking serious <laughs> Sad thing is I, You gave yourself away Wait what about your only White brother 
By the way, I'm not racist. No, you're about to say you're not racist, but you are a fucking racist because you dragged race into it for no fucking reason or rhyme. Nobody, nobody mentioned race but you. You were like, oh, but you're a black lady and all this other shit. Racist, so don't even think that. <laughs> Your white brother, Sean Leonard, does drugs, steals things, takes his your mom's car away, steals TVs, breaks things to get drugs from pe uh, from his street dealers. He OD'd three times on heroin. Funny how you know all these people's lives. So, are people just supposed to believe you? So, people are just supposed to believe you, a known fucking liar, a malingering liar who lies about fucking everything under the fucking sun. Everyone's just supposed to believe you? And I mean, let's, let's take into context that you, if it, or let's just do the scenario. So, everyone's supposed to believe everything that you say, just like everyone's supposed to believe everything that other people say. So, everything that other people say about you has to be true as well. Or is this the world of Andrew Ditch where everything that... Yeah, everyone's just against you and you're a victim and you never do anything wrong. <laughs> Don't tell me where Andy got that source because I'm not telling you bullshit. My brother never or has never or will ever represent you. Stop harassing my family. You know exactly what you're doing and I don't care what you say. You are a... You are... I will hold you 100% accountable for your actions. Now is enough, or now is enough, is enough. Nobody in my family wants to help you. Well, you know what, Season? Sadly is, you cause my family hell. There's a reason to it. The number one cause of hell in the Ditch family is you. I have no... All my facts are based off of YouTube videos that you post. And I can come to the fucking conclusion 100% that you are the cause of fucking issues. Because they can't get me placed when People Inc., the group home you work for, have blocked me from getting services by them for B. Because you're not fucking disabled. You don't have fucking autism. You're more than capable of taking care of yourself. You've done it before. And you're pretending now like you're unable to because you're a lazy fat fuck that doesn't want to get off your fucking ass and go get a fucking job. <laughs> yes. First of all, your mom left a very nasty voicemail on my mom's voicemail. And she was crying because you said Andy had owned a car. It, uh, it's what your mom was accusing me of. Where's my car? Where's my driver's license? You did have your fucking permit. How the fuck did you muster that up? You did have a permit. So it wouldn't be too far-fetched to believe that at one point you might have had a car. You might have your license. These, I mean, these, I'm speculating. I don't fucking know, but... I do know that you had your fucking driver's permit at one point. You admitted it. How does somebody that can't even wipe their own fucking ass able to drive a car? <laughs> the fuck? Yeah, thought so. Where's my fucking learner's permit that I can't even drive and how he I can't even do it because of his stupid retard. I tried. I tried very well to drive, but you don't want to care. You're a fucking crazy degrading piece of woman because you don't you and your family don't like me or my um or my mom the sad thing is you guys never invite my mom over or talk to me or my mom you guys degrade her and me you don't care you're well, I mean, your mom's partly responsible for, you know, the development of this shitty human that is Andrew Ditch. So, I mean, you got to hold her a little accountable. I mean, but you are an adult now, and 
It's time to grow the fuck up. Family, right? Even Linda Parker's, my aunt, had said the same thing. How do you treat the family? Sorry. At least Aunt Linda sticks, sticks up for me. At least family, when Grandpa passed on, your favorite Grandpa loved you. And how you used to lo uh, love him and do everything with him. But no, you don't have any wrong. Stay away from me. You're on DuPont Avenue a lot in the town of Tonawanda. I know where you are. Police will be coming very shortly. Yeah. <laughs> do not do that to me where so I've had this theory for a very long time since the beginning of my videos that ever since Andy got kicked the fuck out for his little oil diffuser that his whole plan is to just get back into his parents house because he could fucking emotionally manipulate his parents into doing everything that he wants and getting everything that he wants I mean, he doesn't get a lot for his SSI or any of his benefits, so I believe that his father does pay out of pocket for a lot of shit. I mean, Andy kind of admitted it on one of the years, you know, but he argued the point that whenever he was living on his own, taking care of himself, wiping his own ass, <laughs> that his dad didn't, you know, contribute as much. But here's some bullshit. I go back to my parents' house. The court needs to keep me away from there. My public defender, Rob Steinhouse, keep me away. <laughs> Why? Why do you continue to fucking use this fake talking shit that you do? Keep me away. I don't want to be back there. Yeah, you do. It's... It's scary. I don't want to go back there. I'd rather be in the streets in the park than be around my dad. You can arrest me for being... Okay, if that's the truth, then why don't you just take your money from your dad like he tries to give you? Your dad just wants to give you your money and be done with you, but you try to manipulate and use the shit and tell him, Oh, just pay for my room because that's your job. Just pay for my room and bring me my stuff and do everything for me, because that's your fucking job. In the park. Andy don't want to be around him. Or my family. Hi, guys. Um, I woke up because I was hungry. Haven't been eating. Woke up because you were hungry. Isn't there a video of you stating that you can't feel hunger these days? You don't you don't know when you're hungry? <laughs> Fucking Ugh Much For one this beer just bothered me real bad and my dad will not help me with my electric razor. He doesn't know what it looks like. He doesn't want to bring it to me is what it is. Like the laptop. Yeah, why would he? Why would he want to bring it to you? He doesn't want shit to do with you and you can't get that through your stupid fucking head. You are a fucking retard, but it's not autism. You, you try to connect retard and autism together. No, you are a fucking retard. You're fucking stupid. Your dad doesn't want shit to do with you and you still try to manipulate the whole situation and it's fucking ridiculous. Uh -oh. I can't even eat because I get hair in my mouth. Oh God, no! And then my tummy problems that oh, I don't get God, help God. reminding me with anything. It's struggle for me. And then the hotel room Andy's in, and I love the bed. I love. Oh my God, it's such a struggle for Andy. It's a struggle. He has to get up every day and clean his diaper and get fed and live in places for free and just be given money for free every fucking day true republican values times edison light i have trouble with the sound of the traffic all day long 
and at times every few hours at, on the overnight. But there's it's quiet on the overnight, my dad claims. Don't have any problems all my life. I'm me making this message because been told my parents' neighbors are all talking. Been told, been given a text message from a number that's not in my contact book as the neighbors that do have numbers for, but Andy's told that it wasn't them. Don't know who this person texted me. Some very rude things about my dad. Asked me to copy and paste and send it to my dad. So I did. I don't believe that. I don't. I call bullshit. I think he did it. What do you think? This hasn't been going on like I didn't have neighbors support on this, but I've been told neighbors go to other neighbors and then I, I don't even know how this person got my phone number. She said it's not important. What's important is having your dad stop treating you like this. She was the one who called the police in February. There was also another neighbor who I know for a fact, my parents' next door neighbor called police when Andy had a bad meltdown because of how Dad and Joe were playing their guitar and trumpet, hurting my ears when going away from Dad, how he treated me. But Dad doesn't do anything wrong. And that is loud, hurt my ears. That was quiet compared to what some of them are. But, Dad, Dad doesn't care. If they're... Yeah, why would he? It's his fucking house. It's not your house. You're a grown man that can take care of himself. Why would he fucking... Why would he bend to your whim? Investigating him. They were finally on him, from my understanding, from the housing conditions. The building inspector finally forced a inspection yeah, sure because neighbors are complaining about it. Sure complaining about the smell, already. too. Oh, the smell. I, uh, the smell. I'm sure that the smell didn't come from your fucking diapers, huh? <laughs> I'm sure of it. But Andy doesn't have any problems with my family. I... And you know what? I'm glad this person texted me. The lights are all turned off in my parents' house. They are, you know, constantly dark. But when I'm home, she's overhearing how turning off the lights because how they bother me and dad turns it back on but dad don't do anything wrong so in an older video see i wish that i just had a laptop and i could chop all this shit and just like put a little more effort into it but i do all these videos off my phone so because i would i would put forth the effort but i don't anyways so he's his dad stated in the video with the oil diffuser that the lights bother his eyes. So yeah, just marinate on that. <laughs> and he's about to go into depth about how yeah, just like that. dad doesn't cause a lot of my problems. No, Didn't know he badmouths me like he does, like to he neighbors. On how all the electric bill, the water bill, he tells my mail, or my friend who delivers my parents' mail, the gas bill, the water bill, the electric bill, it's all $66. The food cost went down because he's not having to feed me. Yeah. Really, Dad? Yeah. How much did I even eat the... Have you seen your fucking self? Have you seen yourself? Bruh. That wasn't built in a day. That wasn't built on fucking crackers and fucking water. 
No, you are a fucking beast. That's a whole lot of food right there. Since being arrested the first time when Andy was accused constantly for eating you out of household. Yeah, how, I believe that. Your how much? Are skinny as fuck, Not much. You are Only when boy. you offered me food because you yell at me daily for giving me food, allowing me to eat something, and then you yell at me for eating it. But then you also claim the police you have all this food in your refrigerator that requires cooking. So you're automatically the believable source. Yeah, because you're Glad to have liar. neighbors sticking up for me to the police who starting to see it being different, Dad. Sorry, it's... I don't mean to do this, but neighbors are sticking up for me. It's and it's not fair, Dad. This. I don't know why you're treating me like this. Don't know why you tell me yourself how the electric bill is sixty six dollars. Yeah. Then a neighbor tells me they you have it all off. You know, every light is every all off. Yeah, they're saying you're not there anymore. And sorry all your electrical and how plugged in and all. you belittle me on that. And how I don't take no way takes baths three times a day like I do. Maybe if he had to be potty trained and he didn't need to you bathe are three times potty a day. Trained, you retard. Maybe if you turn off the lights like you have them now and have, have them on hurting my eyes all the time, you wouldn't have issues. But I don't know. If you have them off or on, but see, I need to go by the house. I don't care. I don't even want. Lies, 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 lies. What about the unwanted guest in that that arrived there? That's you. You're a liar. That's how you know the lights have been off. Cause you fucking wander over there. I be near you, Dad. Yeah, you do. Like I told you last night, have a choice of who I want to be around. If you're a trigger for my problems, and these, and, and, and I don't live with you anymore. What about other people's problems? This guy never, it's always me, 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 my problems, me, 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 me. Everyone has problems. Shit's been going on in the world and all he cares about is me, 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 me. It's it's my choice to be around you or not. It's not my choice to be around the motorcycles. Can't control that. Can't control thunderstorms. But can control if I'm around you or not. And I really need the police and the courts to know. Why the fuck do you keep talking like this? Why? Andy is not going back to my parents' house. Not one time is it where I'm going to be forced back to my parents' house because I'm a vulnerable adult. No you're way you're putting me back adult. in that house. No way. My public defender, Rob Steinhaus, do not do that to me. 